Before the video starts, allow me to say this. Thank you so much for the 100 subscribers. It's still my first time in this YouTube thing. I really wasn't expecting that it would really reach this far. Thank you so much for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed, well, click the subscribe button. It's okay if you won't, but it would really mean a lot to me so that I can help my family in this quarantine. Well, now to the video. That's basically what I thought of Azur Lino the first time. When I played it, I was totally addicted to it. You will be addicted as well. I said in the Bang Dream video link in the description that I will be making Azur Lane next. Looky here, we have Azerlane. I'm sure some of you know about Azerlane not because of the anime or game but the ladies themselves. Those very 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 thirsty ladies. Oh and Dujins is how I got into Azerlane and probably how you got into Azerlane as well. No need to be ashamed of yourself. We are already done with the rhythm game, it's time for something different. Just like how I did the Bang Dream video, we must know what is Azerlane and many more. To those who don't know, Azerlane is a side-scrolling shoot'em up game. It was created by Chinese developers Shanghai Manju and Shai Men Yongshi. You thought it was Japanese because of some Ara Ara vibes, you are wrong. The game was released in 2017 for the iOS and Android. It was first launched in China in May. It was then on Japan in September. What happens in Japan stays in Japan because the game reached 5 million within the 4 months of its release. Even huge numbers of Comic Cat have yet to confirm the popularity of the game. I'm getting out of topic, but still, read the Dujins, it's good. I'll leave some codes here. Like all other games, Azerlane has a story but I won't be telling it because it's spoilers. The point of the video is to let you play and enjoy the game in these tragic times. I will only say that the story is on chapters and like any other gacha games, there is an event too which is different to the main story but does a job done in letting the player know more about the world of Azerlane. I really almost forgot about it, the world itself. It's very interesting because it's set in an alternate timeline of World War II. There are warships in the game but similar to Kantai Collection, the warships have become Moe characters. Is it wrong? Probably not. It's not wrong to touch yourself taking about boats. I did it to myself and it's satisfying. Wait, what? Why is it addictive? There are two reasons why it's addictive. It's very simple. Well, first, it's an addictive game because of the gameplay. It's smooth and fun. It really fits as a mobile game. Putting your thumb in the first try and moving it, you can already tell that the gameplay is smooth and makes you say, this is fun. You won't be able to shoot stuff because it automatically does its thing. For now, you have these three additional buttons for your skills or assist, which will do a lot of help once you are in trouble. Why is trouble well the game will start easy once you progress more and more of the game you will probably witness this If you don't want to fail in that sort of thing, you have to upgrade them lollies and ara-aras. The game will tell you how to do it or you can just discover it by yourself. If you don't have enough strong lewd warships, that's where the gacha comes in. In order to gacha, you must have this old spark from transformers and gold. There are three classes, light, heavy, and special. Don't waste those old sparks though. You can get more in daily missions. That's where the second part comes in, the warship waifus. If you can't remember any of them in the game, you can just watch the anime. The ones in the anime are top tiers. I can't really say a lot of the waifus but just picture out the most Ara Ara of them all. Sotto. Yame. Ayanami chan no gun? Ye. Ayanami wa endo stokimasu desu. Doko o sawatte iru? If you can picture that out, then you have to get that waifu and marry her. You can actually marry your waifus in this game and I will help you in this part. To marry your waifu, you must reach her to 100 affection and you will only marry her when you have the ring of promise. How can you get this ring? Well, players can receive it as a one-time quest reward for maxing a waifu's affection. You can also buy this in the shop for 600 ruby. Once you marry your girl, there will be stat bonuses and you can rename her. If you are a married man and has a happy relationship with your loving wife, don't worry because you won't have a divorce unless you're this guy this game are fucking awful it has ruined my marriage completely my kids two girls one boys are crying at home and left me without any help as this game pull him away from this family and away from reality endless time consume and attention by the game girls my life is a deep nightmare i am very sad that the world has end up like this whoever created this game should really have think if this what you want. There is still more to this game like the academy and ship info but the game will teach you so don't worry about it. Additionally, the game has collaborations. There is Atre Akihabara, Coco, Gliku, Hololive, Kizuna Ai, 
Lawson, Neptunia, Nico Nico, Sichuan, Stardust, Utawa Remono, and World Wildlife. You can get them by using rubies. If you want a pack, the price varies to 0 0.99 to 79.99. And that's a great price. Not for me because I don't have money. But hey, I got this one. That's basically what all I can say to those people who are bored and has nothing to do in these tragic times. Play Azure Lane right now. This video isn't sponsored. It's really addictive and a lot of fun. Join to those amazing communities and play this game. If you have a trash phone, don't worry. You can just get an Android emulator for your PC. If you don't have a PC and a phone, but only has a PS4, lucky you, there is a PS4 game of Azure Lane. It's also on Steam. I don't own the game, but it looks interesting. If you have the money, go buy it now, you lucky bastard. Hey, once again, I would like to say thank you for the 100 subs. It really means a lot to me. Heck, it really means a lot to all YouTubers who are new. I will be making a video of Arkanaitsu next. Look forward to that. I won't be showing teasers now because I will just run out of ideas for a video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like the like button if you like likes. That'll be all. And again, thank you so much. Stay safe and don't go and say bye.